and a collar. What's the team today? You too. I see you've got matching orange top. Oh, really? With the orange <laughs> Air Force on the bed. <laughs> so, um, how you been? You look just like you, honey. I'm good, I'm good. Uh, just a few questions for yourself. And the season's already on, yeah? How long have you been coming to the Hive? Um, so, my first game, I was 16 months old at yeah. 2001. Um, we were originally from Leeds, so we used to like drive up and down the M1 every week. And then when I was about 13, we moved to the Hive. So, we didn't go to Hive forever and basically had a season ticket the whole time we've been in. Oh, nice. Um, what's your, so, what's your favourite memory of the Hive? Beat promotion in 2015 when we beat Gates at 2 0 and won the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is a sore play. They just brought back some bad players. Uh, yeah, we won the league. I mean, we were running away a bit, but it, it went down to the final day between us and Bristol Rovers, and Bristol Rovers were like 6 7 0 that day. But all we had to do was beat Gates, and we did it. Mara Vlete, like, mm. Barnet Boy, mm. been with us his career, yeah. scored the two goals. Just perfect day, perfect action there. Nice. Uh, what do you love most about match days? It's the people. 100% it's the people. Like, you don't get, you know, you make quite friends in the stands, but also to get to know the players, like, yep. on a different level, you don't get that, like, in mm. higher clubs. So it is definitely that aspect, that, like, personalization. Do you have, like, any rituals for match days? Do you, like, have a certain place where you go? Um, or? No, I might come here, have a few drinks, but I'm more like superstitious, like, I have my bar and it's got, that's always got to be on, I've got a B ring. If, if I don't wear that, we lose, it's my fault. If I do, we lose, it's not my fault. Like, if I don't have any responsibility. When the checkbox time, <laughs> you do sit actually wearing it. You haven't got it in, you haven't got it in now, no? Ah, okay, it's just for match day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and why is it just not special? Oh, oh. Uh, how long have you been coming to the games as a season ticket holder? Yeah, about 10, 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, the season ticket. But yeah, throughout my like childhood, like growing up in Leeds, it was always a Northern Way day. So we had like Rochdale's, Agronins, Bradford. I was beat there, trying to get to home games. And then when I got older, I was like, do you want to join 200 men? So to go watch a League 2 and a League 2? Yeah. And somehow the answer was yes. yes. Uh, and then, yeah, so you've got a season ticket and you know, I've got rid of me soon. It's not. That's good. Tell me this. What's your, how, how many miles do you reckon you've traveled over there? Uh, ridiculous. I mean, it's a 400 mile run trip, Lisa least lived it. Yeah. And so if you just like count home games in one season, that is like, I can't do that much. Yeah, that's not good at that single. Not good. Not that good at much. Uh, what made you fall in love with Barlow? Definitely, again, like people there. It sounds really mean to say like a small nature of Barnet because we're not a small club as such, but compared to like football scale, we are. Yeah. But like making friends, like, you go to Premier League clubs, you sit there, it's sort of different all yeah. you'll get to know people, but you make friends like all the time, new people, and then like people of different ages, people who've been watching Barnet for two years, people who've been watching for 20 years, and like then getting to know players like yourself, the management and stuff. It's just like, it feels like such a little community. Yeah. It's so like, definitely are. Um, and what's your, what's your favourite moment this season? I think I'll have to say, Randa Holland's goal against Bournemouth. Bournemouth. That was just see, that was unreal. Like it's a great goal, but also against Bournemouth, like in the moment I was late in the game. Like, yeah, just literally, I got a video of it as well, and screaming, and everyone's going, "Do you not scream, a little career?" I was like, "Not when that happens." So I definitely say that. Yeah. Awesome.